Welcome to the world united. Welcome to the world united. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Sweden. Good morning, entire world who is watching this magnificent event called as the Global Transformation Festival. We are calling it as a festival because this is a time to celebrate. This time to celebrate the dawn of new era. This is a time to celebrate the changing frequencies of the Mother Earth. It is a time to celebrate that in the history for the first time as far as we know, a movement of unity consciousness is sweeping as Thar, the mighty Thar, whom I fondly called as mighty Thar, has called it as a wildfire. It's spreading like wildfire. The unity consciousness is spreading like wildfire. Never before it happened. The world has seen so many types of uniformity models. Uniformity models means following a typical tradition, following the pathways of conventions, following only the known things as has been declared and devised by a guru or an organized philosophy. No more uniformity because every human being is like a flower having its own special fragrance, its own unique features. No more uniformity. If we fall into the traps of uniformity, we lose our soul. We lose ourselves. We lose the very existence, the purpose of our physical existence. So we need a completely unique centered approach where wisdom is the leader, not person, not a wise man, the, but a wisdom should be the leader. Where the teachings dominate the teacher, where the teachings overtake the teacher, the real unity consciousness happens. All these days for the past 2000 years, many Organizations, otherwise called as religions, have created a lot of divisive consciousness. Divisive consciousness is the only scourge of the mankind. The more we fall into the traps of divisive consciousness in terms of discretion, in terms of discrimination, we cannot connect it to the core of our soul. It is a time when each one of us, each of the each human being need to connect to oneself. It is a time when each human being should internalize his her, her own consciousness. All the days from dawn to dusk, the consciousness is exteriorized. The consciousness is centrifugalized. The consciousness peripheralized. When the consciousness gets peripheralized, we lose ourselves. So a lot of internalization of consciousness has to happen with the practices of meditation and spirituality. Whatever be the method, meditation must happen in every human being. Unless there is an inner awakening, unity consciousness cannot take over. Inner awakening is a precursor. Inner awakening is a prerequisite. Inner awakening is a must for this unity consciousness movement. This movement is specially placed on the pedestal of inner awakening. Without this pedestal, we cannot build this edifice of unity consciousness. So inner awakening for each one of us, each we are, each human being is a must. We are here to take the leadership for all these things. A little initiative, a little leadership, a little time of our busy schedules for one and all is a requirement. For all those people who got awakened, they are all doing from different parts of the world. The, all the scattered activities of each individual, all the disseminating energy activities of each individual need to get converged. Unless our energy gets converged, unless our common thoughts are converged, unless our souls are converged, this unity consciousness movement cannot happen at all. Subconsciously, every human being knows the value and significance of unity. In fact, every animal knows it. 
every plant knows it every animal identify itself as part of a species every buffalo is more enlightened than any human being buffaloes and buddhas are alike both are enlightened people in between buffalo and buddha are a big problem to the world neither they can lose their mind to become a buffalo nor they elevate their mind to become a buddha that is the issue with human beings we have to become either one either one of that anyway every animal is species conscious every plant is species conscious there is only one creature on this entire mother earth which is not species conscious that is homo sapiens homo sapiens are not species conscious unfortunately we have to become that so that we sense the feelings of every human being we can empathize our spirit with every human being because we don't empathize with other human beings we don't understand them we feel that we are superior to them there are no superior human beings in the world because there are no superior human beings there are no inferior beings as well we are all one at consciousness level we are all one at spirit level so elevating and amplifying the consciousness of spirit elevating and amplifying the consciousness which can unite all of us is the most important solution for all the problems the mankind is facing united we stand very strong divided we certainly fall we know that but it should come to practice so this is my feeling this is my message this is my soul's desire i would like to express to each one of you the magnificent people who have come forward from the great land of sweden thank you very much thank you once again over to the mighty thar thank you very much